the, the region over the last decades have always had some positive and some you know, uh, challenging news. Uh, that doesn't take away from the fact that this has been a very attractive region for investing. We at Investcorp have been investing here now for the last uh, decade uh, with quite positive results. And we're very pleased with uh, some of the exits which we have accomplished. And I think this region has a lot of very key macro dynamics which are very attractive. And I hope ourselves and other investors can take advantage of it. Now, of course, we're here in Bahrain. This is a country, of course, that really wants to do more in the investment space. They want to become a major player yet again. They were about 30 years ago. They want to bring that all back. What's your take on what Bahrain is doing today to make that happen? Uh, it is absolutely terrific. It is this partnership between the public and private sector, uh, something that the government of Bahrain have done a very good job at, and ourselves who have been in this region since 1984, and I hope we can take advantage of that. And when you look at Bahrain's place in the region, of course, they're just a short boat ride away from Iran, of course, yeah. they're neighboring Saudi Arabia. A lot of questions over what that geopolitical impact could mean for this country specifically. Yeah. When we talk about what's happening next in terms of their development, in terms of what they want to do, obviously the discovery of new oil has, has made that uh, picture a bit brighter potentially, but in the shorter term, what do you see on the horizon? Bahrain is also is a short drive from Saudi Arabia, one of the largest and most uh, exciting economies in the GGC. And I think that is what, how we look at Bahrain. It is really kind of uh, that bridge, uh, it is actually a physical bridge into Saudi Arabia and the opportunities the country of Bahrain can offer into expanding into KSA in terms of both, in terms of uh, services, businesses, uh, manufacturing and other services. I think in that respect, Bahrain is in my mind a, a bridge into Saudi Arabia and other parts of the Gulf region. And in that respect, that, is, that makes it quite attractive. Uh, also, it is a relatively small uh, country, so that makes it much more nimble in decision making. Uh, much more fluid uh, into encouraging foreign investments and that is what we have at Investcorp seen and there is a reason why we have decided to keep our headquarters in Bahrain and that is because of the opportunities, the nimbleness, the uh, pragmatism which uh, the government of Bahrain had to offer. And that ability to get quickly into that Saudi market as well, that connectivity. Talk to me a little bit about Investcorp's work in Saudi. Yeah. So we have been one of the most uh, active and the longest serving investors in the, uh, in the kingdom, uh, both in the healthcare sector, in the uh, consumer retail sector, in the uh, uh, F&B sectors, uh, with varying degrees of success. Um, uh, it's Saudi Arabia is one of the fastest growing populations in the world. Uh, it has one of the largest uh, per capita uh, incomes of any other countries in the world. These are very important ingredients and foundations of any investors you want to see. Uh, there are still a fair bit to do in the uh, infrastructure front, whether it's in healthcare, whether it's in education. And I hope that ourselves and many other investors can be large conduits to expanding that relationships. Hey everybody, it's Hadley Gamble from our new CNBC Middle East Bureau in Abu Dhabi. Thanks for stopping by. Now to watch more, you can try one of the videos that just popped up on your screen. And don't forget to subscribe.